Futai Knox Palong Prakarat Party Coalition Talk on the Head with More Bad News for Prawit. Futai's presumed candidate for Prime Minister in this year's general election gave short shrift to media rumors and speculation of a Futai coalition arrangement with the beleaguered Palong Prakarat Party when she said that her party would not shake hands after the election with anti democratic actors. It comes amid media reports this week that an attempt may be made to sway Futai into such an alliance by using the leverage of the unelected upper house or senate which controls 33% of the votes for the next prime minister after this year's general election and which is likely to support either General Prit Chan Ocha or General Prawit Wong Suwon, former key members of the military junta, the National Council for Peace and Order, NCPO which ruled Thailand from 2014 until 2019 and which appointed the body before the March 2019 general election. On Sunday, there was a double blow for Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wong Suwon in the Palong Prakarat Party as the country's most popular political party, Futai, appeared to rule out a coalition with it after the next general election and an opinion poll released in Bangkok showed it running sixth out of six political parties in the capital with Futai leading the way as it has done in all recent polls. At the same time, that party's assumed prime ministerial candidate and the runaway public favorite for the position. Ms. P. Tong Tarn Chinawatra appeared to rule out shaking hands with parties which had anti-democratic links saying that Futai may opt to deal with parties who have consistently had similar principles as it. Futai was in government in 2014 when a military coup led by General Prit, the current Prime Minister and former PM candidate for Palong Prakarat, ousted it from power. There was a double bow for Palong Prakarat and its leader Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wong Suwon on Sunday when the party emerged last out of six polled among voters in Bangkok and the presumptive nominee for Prime Minister of the Futai Party appeared to reject a coalition with his party when Ms. P. Tongtarn Shinwatra said Futai would not shake hands with those linked to anti-democratic forces after the general election. General Prawit was a key member of the National Council for Peace and Order NCPO, the junta which took power after a Futai government was ousted in the 2014 coup led by current Prime Minister Prit Chan Ocha. A new opinion poll into voters' attitudes in Thailand's capital Bangkok released on Sunday has worrisome news for the ruling Palong Prakarat as it came in last out of a selected list of parties which appeared to ignore the newly formed Ruam Thai Sang Chart Party, RTSC the current political bandwagon of General Prit Chan Ocha. The super poll survey showed that only 6.6% of voters in the capital intend to vote for Palong Prakarat Party compared to 33% for the Futai Party which led the poll. In the last general election in March 2019, the Palong Prakarat Party polled 23.34% of the vote nationally compared to just 21.92% for Futai. Trend for the Palong Prakarat Party since December when General Prit appeared to signal his move to a new political home has been a downward slide. The trend follows a pronounced slide which appeared in December when a National Institute of Development Administration NIDA, opinion poll throughout Thailand saw the Palong Prakarat Party suddenly losing ground after it became clear that it was parting ways with General Prit Chan Ocha, the current prime minister who is still battling against the odds to stay in power after the next general election with the help of the upper house or senate which, as a bloc, commands 33% of the vote in the combined National Assembly poll for Prime Minister, a controversial power that will expire after June 2024. Prit to make his move for a third term but is the battle for power already lost to Futai? Ruling Palong Prakarat party suffers a swift reversal from the last poll coming in with only 4% support. During the week, political scientists speculated that the Senate which was hand-picked by the National Council for Peace and Order NCPO, the former Thai military junta, would support either one of the two generals, General Prit, the Prime Minister or General Prawit Wong Suwon, Deputy Prime Minister and the leader of the Palong Prakarat Party in a vote which is due to take place in the aftermath of the general election now widely accepted as scheduled for May 7. Theory mooted of a Palong Prakarat, Phut High Coalition has been doing the rounds in political circles since August 2022, re-emerged this week. One theory that has been doing the rounds since August 2022 and which was raised strongly in media speculation linked with political sources this week was the possibility of Futai combining with Palong Prakarat and General Prawit after the next election to give the public what over 95% of them want, according to an opinion poll this week. That is a new prime minister after eight years of General Parrot at the helm. Corruption and the role of the unelected Senate in electing the next PM to be general election issues. Such an arrangement, so went the speculation would see General Prawit installed as leader of the government supported by the Futai Party in a coalition government arrangement possibly with other parties. However, on Sunday, this proposition was knocked on the head firmly by Ms. P. Tung Tarn Shinawatara, 
the daughter of former Premier Thaksin Shinawatra who is expected to be nominated as the main prime ministerial candidate for Futai over the coming weeks. Deputy Government Spokesperson Tipin and Sarikana resigned from Palong Prakarat to follow General Prat in his latest political quest to retain power. There was even further bad news for General Prawit at the end of the week when party member and deputy spokesperson at the Prime Minister's office Dipin and Sarikana, on Thursday evening, visited him at his offices at the Forest Border Foundation to tender her resignation from the Palong Prakarat party as she is expected to follow General Prat on his new political odyssey with the new Ruam Thai Sang Chart Party, RTSC, which he joined last Monday. General Prawit issued a very unusual statement published on Friday on his Facebook social media page which spoke at length about his relationship with General Pratt and referred in detail to the steps leading up to the 2014 coup and attempts afterwards to assist General Pratt, who led the coup, transition to becoming a political leader. In 2014, the then army chief ousted the remnants of the Futai-led government which saw cabinet ministers including the current popular governor of Bangkok, Chad Chart Sitapunt, then Minister of Transport arrested by military officers and taken into custody with a hood placed over his head. General Prawit Wong Suan's statement to the media this week was unusually frank and explanatory, some would say completely out of character for him. This media interaction attributed to General Prawit has been questioned by loyalists of the Deputy Prime Minister over the weekend as out of character for the normally coy political leader who since taking power has become known for his short and curt rejoiners to the media and is being represented in some quarters as a move by strategists within his camp to open up a divide or chasm between the two former army chiefs, something both of them have insisted, up to now, is not possible. Ms. Pete Hung Tarn, also known as Ung Ying, however, did not rule out some sort of coalition arrangement with other parties after the election but insisted that it must be first of all with parties that hold the same principles as the country's main opposition and largest party. She warned that Futai would not shake hands with parties who have shown themselves to be anti-democratic in nature but would opt to deal with parties with the same values who are intent on pursuing similar policies for the good of the people. We must respect the rights of the people first, she told reporters and said that the party would be guided strongly as to what were the wishes of the people. Ung Ying makes it clear that Futai will not shake hands with what she termed anti-democratic political parties after the next general election. Ms. P. Tong Tarn's comments were endorsed later by Futai Party Secretary General Prazer Jantara Wang Tong who said the matter did not need much thought as the party has always been guided by such principles. The new opinion poll, just released on Sunday, also appears to have some good news for the Bumjay Thai Party which registered 26.4% voter support in Bangkok with 23.5% for the Democrat Party and 9% for the Move Forward Party. Recent national opinion polls by the National Institute of Development Administration NIDA, however, consistently showed the Bumjay Thai Party registering nowhere near the 10.33% support it attained in the 2019 general election in Thailand when it came in fifth place with just under half of that level of support or less than 5%. The results of the poll in the capital conducted from December 12 to 15 with a sample of 1,207 respondents were presented by Mr. Napital Kanaka, the director of Super Poll Research Center.